We are exploring a hidden gem today. Place with pristine beaches, waterfalls, backwaters, unique islands, kayaking, rich history, and so much more. Welcome to Udupi. It is day one, and today we are going to a very unique place. Hey guys, so we are going to St. Mary's Island right now and we are taking a boat ride from Malde Beach to St. Mary's Island. Ticket of 300 rupees to get across the island, so let me take you along with me. You can catch a boat ride to St. Mary's Island from Malpe Beach and the duration of this ride is about 30 minutes. Did you observe the hexagonal rock formations here? This is what makes St. Mary's Island very special. Island right now and the rock formations here are so unique it's gorgeous when you're in UDP do visit this island it's absolutely beautiful at around sunset time we came back to Malpe Beach from St. Mary's Island and right now I am on the Malpe Sea Walk. This is the end of first day in Udupi, an eventful first day and look at how gorgeous scenery behind me looks. I have set out on a mission to explore offbeat Udupi and now we are doing just that. We are in these old ancient streets of Udupi right now and the houses behind me, they look really vintage. Did you know that Udupi also has backwaters? This was one big surprise for me and I felt like I was teleported to Kerala. The thing about Udupi is you get Kerala vibes here. Found backwaters and a wooden bridge here which is absolutely beautiful so please check it out. and it's scary to walk on uh, it's not gonna fall because it's pretty sturdy it's good and it's quite an experience so add it to your list when you are in Udupi so you can also do kayaking here with this amazing view and the backwaters and the kayaking is around 50 rupees for 15 minutes What you see behind me is not Kerala, this is Karnataka and we are at this hidden gem. These backwaters are absolutely beautiful and we are now heading to the mangrove and kayaking there which I am absolutely looking forward to. So please stay tuned and let's go on this amazing experience together. This is what traveling is all about, right? Going to new places, having new experiences and having a lot of stories to tell. This place has absolutely taken me by a surprise and how. From the magical kayaking experience, we have now arrived at our next location. We are at this amazing beach right now and it's called Delta Point and it's named so because waters and sea merge here. Absolutely pristine and the best part about this beach is it's not too crowded, not too commercial. It's very pristine, it's neat, it's clean, it's quiet and the route to get here is also very beautiful. You can see the sea on one side and the backwaters on the other so it's absolutely beautiful. New day, new adventure and this one is definitely one of my top favourites. We are uh, right now going to this hidden gem. It was not easy to get here and right now it's a one hour drive and a one hour hike. After a long hike, we have finally reached the falls. Kutlu Tita Falls is magical. 
it's right in the middle of a forest and it's absolutely stunning we have finally reached the falls and look at how gorgeous it looks Udupi is truly full of surprises. Now we are heading to yet another special place. We have now come to this ancient Jain temple which is right in the middle of a lake and the only way to get across is by a boat. We are in Malpe beach right now and the beach is bustling. New day, new adventure. Today is the day to visit some of the historical places around Udupi and I have made my way to Karkala to do just that. We have arrived at our first place in Karkala. So we all know that Udupi has backwaters, Udupi has amazing educational colleges, Udupi has amazing food, Udupi has amazing culture but Udupi also has a lot of rich history and right now I'm in this exotic ancient temple called Chaturmukha Basadi. It's called Chaturmukha Basadi because it has four symmetrical sides as you can see and the entire temple is built from granite, hand carved and it reminds me of those ancient structures in Hampi which is absolutely stunning. So add this place to your list. Definitely visit here when you are in Udupi. We have arrived at our next place in the places to visit in Udupi series and right behind me is this absolutely magnificent church called St. Lawrence Church. It's a Roman Catholic church built in 1759. People also say that this is a site where a lot of miracles have also taken place. So let's check this beautiful church out. So this is our last day in Udupi and today we have yet another action-packed day planned ahead of us. Right now we are in the Hasta Shilpa Heritage Village which is a reconstruction of old heritage houses that you could find in this particular region. So uh, there are houses dating back from the 12th century right to like 150 years ago. Let's take a tour, let's check this place out, I'm super excited. <laughs> very unique and pristine beach. I'm at Kapu or Kop beach right now and behind me is the backwaters and sea meeting point. And I have another surprise for you. There's a huge lighthouse right behind you. So I'm planning to go up and I'll show you the view from there. Stay tuned. We have almost come to the end of our trip and we have made our way to Manipal. The University of Manipal is supposed to be one of the best in India. Just in case you didn't know, Udupi has some of the most iconic food joints and I have made a whole different video just covering that. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the description box below. So we have come to the end of this video and if you like the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe, it would mean a lot.